Over the next five days, I'll be making my first ever Unity game. I've made games before, but mostly in Flash, which is outdated, and you can't even play them anymore without a special player. So this will be my first game in Unity. I'm giving myself five days as a bit of a challenge, and so I don't spend too long on it. Now, Unity has 2D and 3D capabilities, but 2D is more my style, so that's what I'm going to go with. And specifically, I want to make a 2D platformer. You'll notice one of the options here for a new project is a 2D platformer micro game. So this is a completely pre-built kind of level of a platformer. But I'm not going to use that because I want to start from scratch and really learn how to make things. So Universal 2D. So before I started making this video, I did actually start following this tutorial from Pandemonium. I watched the first few episodes just to see what I was kind of getting myself into, but I stopped there and I'm going to start again completely fresh. See how much I actually remember. Perfect. We have a completely blank slate. The first thing I got to do is make a character. I'm going to call this player. How big is it? So this is the camera. Good enough. I know it's not doing anything. That's the game so far. If we go add component uh, rigid body 2D, well now it's going to fall. <laughs> the other thing is a box collider 2D, and that means it can interact with something like the ground. Uh, we need some ground to work with, so I'm going to copy this player. Just stretch it out. I'll remove the rigid body because I don't want this thing to move around. Now, hopefully, if I press play, wow, it already uh, collides with the ground and has gravity. It's a good start. So using Pandemonium's tutorial, I gave the player some movement with a short bit of code. Very nice. Then I programmed in a jump, allowing a few different keys to trigger it. It's a bit floaty and you can still jump while in the air, but it works. We'll fix it soon. For now, I'm designing a simple character in Adobe Animate. Let's, uh, let's make a green ball with eyes and limbs. Totally different to my game character from 2019, because it's green and has arms. I animated an idle loop, then a run cycle, and a jump. So I replaced the sprite and added in some code that makes the player flip horizontally whenever you change direction. Then did a bunch more coding and doing stuff with the animator component to make sure the animations happen when they need to. I also made sure jumping was only possible when you're on the ground. One last thing for today is wall jumping, which is where things started to feel complicated. I managed to implement it, but I wasn't sure if I would keep it in the game. So that's alright for the first day. We have a character with some animations who can move and jump around on a platform and even climb up a wall. Kind of. So far we have player movement, uh, jumping, walking around, three different animations. Wall jumping works. The one on the right is a normal wall that you can't jump on, but kind of has a sticking issue. See, if you're holding uh, right, it'll just stay there, but ideally you'd fall right down. I'll have to uh, figure it out. I want to fix these animations a bit as well. But for now, I'll be implementing shooting. So I started scripting the player attack, then went back to the animations. I fixed up the idle and run cycles just to make them look a bit better. Then I made an attack animation, which is just this open mouth that he shoots fireballs out of. The fireballs are green for style points. I tried to set up the animations in Unity, but some frames were tiny green dots. It took ages to figure it out, but the sprite settings by default slice up images into separate pieces if there are gaps. Like it considers these flecks on the side their own thing. So I had to change some settings to fix that, and the low quality on certain sized images. Next I animated an explosion for when the fireball hits something. After a bunch of coding and setting things up, I was able to shoot. But it didn't launch from or stop where it was supposed to. It also didn't explode. And the mouth opening animation wasn't working properly. One issue that took me way long to notice was the hitbox being too big. It's the green outline you see around it here. There was a bunch of other stuff I had to fix, but I eventually had a working attack. But every time you shoot, it deletes the one you just shot. So a little more coding, and we have a functioning fireball with adjustable speed and cooldown. Now it's time to replace these white rectangles in a void with an actual background. For the first level, I had this hilly forest thing. Dirt track and some grass, midday sky, and I'll do a few layers of trees. Alright, I've put in a few of the background elements, and everything's working pretty well. Oh, actually, I need to change the order of uh, depth on that fireball. But I was thinking for the ground, I just use these uh, like rectangles and make them invisible, and then slant them on these uphill parts. But the problem with that, it works fine if you're going like a little slow, but you can fall over. 
Um, so I need to figure out if this is even viable. If it's too hard, I'll have to make my levels flat. The other thing is I want to be able to shoot while running and jumping. So I'll just change my code. I decided to make the ground flat for now. Also finished up all the background and foreground elements. Then I spent quite some time looking at tutorials and trying to get a parallax scrolling background. I got it to work, but of course now you can see the empty space when you jump. So I just have to move those pieces down or extend them. Now for a health system. I threw down some more code, then drew this health bar. I was able to test that it works by making a key press give damage. Next I made a short hurt animation. And a fun death animation with the eyeballs falling down after you turn into sludge. Still using Pandemonium's tutorial for the most part, I made a trap that moves back and forth. Then made a health pickup. Sweet, we're successfully taking damage from the trap and restoring it with these red pills. So today I want to get most of the coding and uh, general mechanics done so that tomorrow I can focus on uh, designing levels and having a fully playable game. So what we've got so far is pretty good. Get hurt by this dude. <laughs> I'm going to replace this uh, circle and these pills with actual graphics. Alright, so got to make more traps and enemies, some menus, respawning, getting to the next level, maybe some audio, but we'll see. First on the agenda for today was programming invincibility for a second or so after taking damage. Also incorporating the hurt animation. Looks like it's working as intended. I also made it so you can attack while moving, but I didn't make an animation specifically for that so it looks a bit strange. At this point I found out how to get slopes working. It was literally as simple as clicking freeze rotation on the rigid body constraints. If it's too steep you'll slide down, but why would you need something that steep? I put in a placeholder for another trap and got the death animation to trigger when you run out of health. Now I'm making a spiky dirt ball for the moving trap. Put some greenery on it, with an animated dust cloud at the bottom. I also drew some sticks poking out of the ground for the other trap. I plonked the new assets into Unity and made some adjustments then tested it out. Looks okay. Next I made an arrow shooting trap, which had its own slew of problems. Eventually it was working. I also replaced the health pill with this heart I made. To finish out the level design I added a cliff edge and more parts to the ground. Since slopes were an option now, I went back to the hilly section. Also drew in a tree so you can bump into it as the invisible wall at the start. Then I drew the graphics for the arrow shooter and started on an enemy. Right, I've designed an enemy and more parts to the level. This is the guy right here. Gonna make him shoot stuff at me, uh, sort out the animations, and uh, be able to attack and <laughs> destroy. This is gonna be a hitbox. Uh, that's too tall to jump over. I also have to deal with these arrows because they really shouldn't just be <laughs> flying across the entire level. Also, I made this gap. The problem is <laughs> you can now see the scuffed bottom of the trees and hill. You should probably have a menu and a pause menu. Need a way to complete the level and get to the next one. I also need to make a new level. And there's other stuff I can do, but it's the last day, so <laughs> God, I don't know. I hope I can have somewhat of a complete but short game. Alright, so I spent hours trying to get this enemy to fully function, including proper animation transitions, firing projectiles on a timer, with random fire points and random wait time and attack time. I also gave the rocks gravity and wanted the enemy to have a hitbox that stops you from moving through it and deals damage. Not to mention the ability to kill the enemy. A lot of it did work kinda well, but there were some roadblocks. I eventually wasted too much time on it and reduced it to a static mouth open rock firing enemy that you have to walk through. So I moved on to placing the ground elements. I just used a lot of rectangle box colliders and tried to match them with the background. Must be wildly inefficient, but it got the job done. Of course I'll make these invisible. Then I made a respawn script so you actually die and go back to the start when you run out of health. I drew a flag which is going to be the trigger point for getting to the next level, and then I made a quick design for level 2. The last couple things I needed were level switching and a way to die when you fall down a hole, and I made a bit of a you win screen. Well, I'm going to call it there. It's um, kind of a finished game. It's missing a lot of things that I wanted to use. It's buggy, a little basic, a little easy. There's a very sudden drop off over here. With the immunity you can kind of 
almost, actually no, I set it to one second. Uh, you, you will have to actually dodge some things. You're kind of forced to take damage from this enemy because I didn't program a way to kill it. Uh, but respawning works, so that's cool. Uh, jumping into this hole works because I, I made an invisible box that gives you 10 damage. Oh, I made it to level two. These are, I never did fix uh, wall sticking. It's a big jump. Oh, I'm actually almost dead. Ah, uh, I finished. <laughs> well, that was fun. If you want to play this game, you can do that for free at this link right now. It's possible that I've updated the game by the time you see this, but probably not. Never did add sound or any kind of menu. I think this is okay for um, five days with no real experience in Unity. Well, I did try some tutorials before, but didn't get very far. So that's it. I probably will try to make an actual game at some point. But hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in another one soon and goodbye.